Hello there everyone and welcome to John Drinks, the channel of which I, John, have a drink. And today, I've been told that I need to go back to work after six months off, so I'm having a me day. So, I thought now would be a good a time as any to do a gin. Now I should quickly point out where I am as well. I'm not in a spa, sadly. Um, I'm actually looking after my dad's house at the moment. I say house, it's a ground floor flat, but it's, it's bigger than my flat, so therefore it feels like a house. And I have sort of free reign of the drinks cabinet. So we're, we're gonna look at a gin today. Did I mention that? I'm high on Dead Sea Salt at the minute. Um, we're actually gonna be looking at a gin, which I thought I'd covered already, but it turns out we haven't. You, you probably can't see this, so there'll be like a close-up shot now and like clever editing and things, so you can like see, see, can you see it? Yeah? Okay, cool. That's some 2010 Gracie for you. Uh, Hendrix Gin, this little miniature of Hendrix Gin here. And unfortunately, I don't have any of my usual glassware here for gins, so we're gonna have to make do with this stained glass wine glass. I know it's a hardship, but we're gonna get through it together, guys. So, um, normal rules apply. Are we trying it neat? I'll try it with some tonic. At some point, bits of my face might start flaking off because this has been on for about 10 minutes now and apparently it just starts peeling off like a salamander. So, that'll be exciting. Um, oh, 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 spilling everywhere. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm just too damn relaxed to measure these days. Right, so. Um, it's safe to say, if I'm not wearing cucumbers, I don't have any cucumbers for garnish either, so we're not going to be doing that today. To be fair, I don't tend to garnish when I'm testing out anyway, because they... <sighs> I usually forget to buy the garnishes, is the honest... I was going to come with some, like, floaty excuse, which made it sound like there was a deliberate reason. The honest answer is, nine times out of ten, I hit record and they go, Oh, bloody hell, I forgot to buy the grapefruit. Now you know, at least I'm honest. Um, lavender, a little bit of like forage seaweed, is that dead sea, so hang on, it's this shit I'm smelling, bloody hell, lavender, collected seaweed, crushed dead sea salt, ugh, right, <clears throat> let's, let's try that again. unyielding. <laughs> it's not it's not giving up much. A little bit of almond. It's a fair bit, a lot of juniper actually. I'm not really picking up any of the cucumber or rose. I know it's in there, but I'm not really picking it up. Okay, let's let's try it neat. Try not to get any of my face into it. Oh yeah, there we go. Do you know what? The nose and how it tastes, miles apart. To nose this, you'd be like, oh, that's, 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 that, that's strong. That's, that's strong. It's not, it's 40 point, point, uh, 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 41.4% ABV. Once I get my words out. Yeah, it's uh, creamy, light, a little bit of juniper, quite floral. Um, and there's like a cooling presence, which is probably the cucumber in there. I wonder what it's like with tonic. That's, that's the bit that we're waiting for here, isn't it? One of the good things about having done all the Hendrix now, and there'll probably be cards and all sorts jumping about the screen, is that I can now ask people, what are people's favorite Hendrix? There are a couple I've not covered. Um, I've not covered the Hendrix Amazonia, because I think it's a regional exclusive, and I've not done the Absinthe, because there comes a point where you kind of Hendrixed out, I've had this kicking around for a while, I've meant to do it, I found it the other day and I was like, oh yes, I must, must do that. Looks lovely in the glass, but I think that's more to do with the nice glass than anything else. Much sweeter on the nose now, fair bit of lemon, a little bit of that cucumber coming through. There's not really any rose, although it could be this a thing that I've got on that's masking a lot of it. I didn't think this through really, did I? Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, I've got my Dead Sea stuff. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> really lemony. Really lemony. Um, there's a little bit of like 
a rose lemongrass cucumber kind of a thing going on but it's the citrus component that's coming out in it I tend to drink mine with a bit less tonic so that's probably going to be a different experience from people that tip the whole bottle in but yeah really lemony up front not very bitter either it's quite bright honestly mmm yeah it's been a long time since I last had a Hendrix um, so it's yeah it's a pleasant surprise I, oh shit oh, bloody hell my face has fallen in the gin Fuck. That's what you don't say every day. <clears throat> so what do we know about this stuff? Well, it's gin, uh, and it's made in Ireland? That can't be right. What? It's a gin. <laughs> don't know what else to say about it, really, to be honest. Oh, no. Um, let me know down below. What do you guys think of Hendrix gin? Are you glad that I finally covered this? What's your favourite expression of Hendrix Gin? That was the question I was going to be stumbling towards earlier on. Um, for me, I'd have to go towards the Midsummer Solstice. That was a good one. Orbium comes a close second, but the Midsummer, that's, that's always going to have a place in my heart. And it's soon to be retired, so if you haven't tried it yet, hit your hands on some. There might be some links down below if I can be fucked doing it. Um, oh, is this stuff supposed to burn? Our natural mud mask hardens to draw out blocked pores, leaving skin squeaky clean. What's it going to do for somebody with a beard? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do thumb the video if you enjoyed this, and also if you feel like supporting the channel financially, let me know down below. There will be some links to my Patreon, and there's also polls for what you want me to do next and all that fun stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and do join me next time, where I'll be drinking something else. I need to go peel my face off now, excuse me.